somehow I can pull this all together. I'm not... I could literally fire everyone just for a couple of days. How about that? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Academia School Simulator, and the place is filthy. Absolutely filthy. We're getting more than a few students dropping out or going to other schools because the place is such a pigsty, and frankly, I don't blame them. It really kind of is. There's another one. Christopher just dropped out because the place is filthy. I get it, man. I get it. It is mostly dirt. It's mostly dirt. You're not wrong about that. But there's some exciting new things in our school, apart from the dirt. We have our new counselor up and running now. So Counselor Mel over here already dealt with our one delinquent, curing her, curing her of her smoking problem. So that's worked out pretty well. I'm very sorry that your office is in the middle of an open field, but I can't afford to build walls around you at this point. So you're going to have to be sort of out with nature. And we are recording this after the latest update, the multiple choice update. So there's a bunch of new things in academia. We'll kind of find them as we go along, but most most of them that I've found so far are just dealing with better or worse things that you can choose to do. So I was kind of poking around the research department before I started recording, and we can get, say, better brews. We can get different types of coffee for our staff, and they'll be, you know, way more caffeinated or not caffeinated, as the case may be. I think what's very exciting is quality toilet paper unlocks different types of toilet paper, and that will change um, how how dirty the students leave the toilet when they, you know, do what it is that they need to do. Those are a really long way off, though. I mean, we'd have to go through a heck of a lot of research to get to those things. Now, speaking of getting to things, are we actually, you know, kind of doing anything right now? Uh, no, we are not on anything right now. So what could we be working on to get some money to afford more janitors and, more importantly, more floors and walls, because one of the biggest issues is people have to walk through the mud to get to where they're going. Well, here's a nice easy one. Lounging around, they just want some more stuff in the staff and faculty lounges. I, I can totally do that for you. Apply for that. All right, so you want two plants, two clocks, two bulletin boards. Okay, fair enough. Well, I think we could probably put one of each in each thing. Get me to objects and get me to, well, the place that I want to be. Staff lounge, faculty lounge, I don't care. There it is. Staff lounge. Oh, do I not actually have those yet? Have I, have I kind of, have I kind of not done that properly? Hang on. Oh, no, they're in here. They were just in, in a different area there. So put a clock there and put a clock there. And then you wanted two potted plants. All right, get a couple of those kicking around. Put one right in front of the clock so you can't see the time. And sorry, what was what was the other thing you wanted? Bulletin boards. Okay, we can do that. That'll be up with the Bs, Dave, because alphabetical is a thing that exists. Uh, bulletin board can go here and here. Okay, get on that. Go build those things and then call me when you're done and give me, I don't know, I made like a 800 bucks or something out of that. How... How the heck am I going to afford to get all of this place floored in and walled in? I could start up here. This would be an easy place to start. If I just kind of walled this off. All right, let me just blueprint that out for a sec. Hang on, hang on. Give me a wall outline. Let's say this would eventually be a corridor and then there'd be a door uh, sort of here like that. That would be pretty cheap to build out. I'm going to do that. Okay, give me my jet black crime walls, obviously. And then all of that. I know, I know people are dropping out. Oh, I've unlocked a maintenance worker grant. Okay, cool. Oh, probably because I just finished the, um, this, the, the potted plant thing, whatever it was. Yeah, I, I've done a plant. Uh, get me two doors and regular door and this door right there. And then... Do I feel, I don't, do I feel, I really, really don't, that I have enough money 
to do my Versailles floors that I love. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, let's just try and get one thing done here. This is going to cost me a fortune, but that will be easier to keep clean. And they won't be, once they're in here, they won't be tramping mud because there won't be mud. You know, because it's, it's now got a floor on it. Okay, that's going to cost me a complete and utter fortune to do all of that. So I need a good money-making grant now. And we are really kind of running out of that. We're not, we're not going to find any, here's a big chunk of money for something that you've kind of already done things anymore. Mostly it's just researching things that take a lot of money to research. I'm kind of thinking about the vice principal. Now that's a wage. I'm going to have to pay for that vice principal every day, but that's seven grand to how, how much it, I think it is seven grand to research vice principals, isn't it? And that, don't I seem to recall something along those lines? It's six grand. Okay. It's six grand to research vice principals. Okay. Do it. Do it. I, you know, I want one anyway. Accept the grant. So at least we get some of that money back. And hopefully I haven't just done that in the wrong order where they haven't actually paid for the floors and I'm going to be bankrupt tomorrow morning. That's entirely feasible. That is absolutely feasible. Now, where am I going to put the vice principal's office? I kind of want to put it over by Counselor Mel. That seems very fair and just. And you know what? You know what? I'm doing it. I'm hiring another janitor. We've, we've just got to have it. I can't afford to have all of these students dropping out. Students are my money. I know that guy costs me money. Everybody costs me money. Everything in this building costs me money, including the new vice principal that I'm researching. But more janitors means more clean, means less kids dropping out. These floors look awesome. And you guys, you guys are going to keep them all nice and Why are you all in the staff lounge? Well, I'm not going to research better coffee if you're all going to hang out in the staff lounge. I'm totally going to research better coffee because that's what I would really do if I really owned a school. Basically, the staff would have amazing coffee and everything else could go to heck. I see Counselor Mel is on duty. Not really anything to do. You've kind of solved our delinquency problem in that we only had one delinquent student and you've cured her of her smoking issue. Very well done indeed. I think the principal's office has to go over by Counselor Mel. I'm just going to do like a small office. How big do you guys think you really need to be? Uh, you need to be about five by five. Okay. Okay. So if I were to, how much money do I have? Virtually none. Virtually none. Okay. Um, give me my, my jet black crime walls here. Let's uh, just carve it out of this little bit here. Oh, wait a minute. I needed, hang on, stop. I needed a door. Wow, I am really going to have to do this on the cheap for the vice principal's office because this is getting pretty grim around here. Those Versailles floors, boy, once you throw those down, they look awesome, but boy, are they expensive when you run them all the way down the corridor. The place seems to be looking cleaner. I'm not seeing massive piles of dirt everywhere which is good. I need to get floors in the library in the science lab kind of on the quick if I could. Oh, I meant to put a door in there. Hang on, hang on. Get me to doors and then this is going to live right here. Yeah, Counselor Mel is going to have a way bigger office than whomever the vice principal turns out to be. But again, I got 1600 bucks here. I got to do this on the cheap because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be broke tomorrow. Okay, I got seven hundred and thirty-six dollars left here. I'm I'm not gonna have enough money to hire the vice principal. That's gonna be a sticky little issue. I probably have enough money. No, I don't even have enough money to kit out the office. Nope, I have completely boned myself here. Eight hundred and forty bucks for the admin table. I can't complete this quest. I actually don't have the money to complete this quest. So what are my options? I could, well, I can't run out the school year. I was thinking, you know, get to the end of the year. We'll get some money after the evaluation there. I can't do that because we're going to go bankrupt before then. It's only day six. A uh, student is confessing their love. Confess your love for emptying your wallet into the principal's office, please. That's what I would like you to confess your love for doing. Right. So my options are sell a bunch of stuff fire a bunch of people, but 
all that's going to do is maybe, if I'm very, very frugal, tick me into positive numbers, but that's still not going to be enough to get this done. I sadly think I have to look at the very, very slippery slope in the wee hours. And that would be the old bank loan. Yeah, this is where it all goes horribly wrong for building games, management games, and tycoon games on my channel. I'm super, super good at taking the loans out. Not perhaps as good at paying them back. If I take 25k off whatever moron is going to lend it to me, I'm going to have to pay back 200 a day. That's not... I mean, I'm already 1k in the hole. What's an extra 200 bucks? You see how my mind works. This is, this is why bank loans are a very slippery slope in games for me. I mean, what's an extra 200 bucks a day? Who cares? I'm, I'm borrowing $25,000. What, why do, wait. Why do I only have 10,000? Why do I only have 10,000? Did I, did I hit the 10,000 one? I probably just hit the 10,000 one. What's the problem? Uh, best history teacher. Definitely not ours. And I got a, well, I've got, a chance of 3000 bucks but it's going to cost me a thousand bucks to do it that's not very fair all right well i'll just take out another loan i guess yeah my teacher didn't get the award and i just lost a thousand dollars to prove that i could have told you that from day one uh monitor has noticed something suspicious really do we have a goon issue yes i see you right there i see you uh you uh kick out kick out randy allen randy get out of my common area and if you could if you could throw me a few bucks on your way out, I I sure would appreciate that. Ah, yeah, I took out a ten thousand dollar loan. I I thought I was highlighted on the twenty five thousand dollar loan. Now I can't get another loan until I pay back this loan. Okay, I'll I'll learn to cope with that information. That's not as much money as I wanted. I'll get a little bit of money when we get the vice principal in. We're still researching that. That's taking ages. But I may as well kit out the office. I may as well get that started. There's my $840 table in a fax machine that literally nobody has used since 1994, but apparently is vitally important to this game. And we'll zone this out as an office. There we go. It's ready to go whenever... Well, whenever I can, I can get a principal in here. A vice principal, excuse me. A vice principal. Well, I got 8K sitting around. It's costing me 11.25 a day to do that. I, I could just start putting floors down. Ah, vice principal research is complete. Great. Yay. I'll wait till your office is technically an office and then I will hire you. Okay, vice principal. How much are you going to cost me? I have too many sick students. Do I really? Yes. Thank you to the comment section for letting me know kind of how sickness sort of works. I guess every day at nine, and it did just click over nine, we, we kind of get a count on how many sick students there are. I didn't realize there was a timed event. And then obviously cleanliness is going to affect that. But yeah, we, you're not wrong. We do have a bunch of sick students. I should probably get some more chairs. Anyway, how much are you costing me a day? $555. Day and it costs me five thousand to hire you. Five thousand. Why do I even want you? I, I guess I do. I mean, I've I've already committed at this point. So, ouch. Yeah, I got a little bit of money back. That's nice. Extracurricular activity. Extra. Let's see if we can say that word again. Extracurricular activities grant. Well, that sounds fun. That sounds very fun. What what does that entail? What what do we do with that information? What's uh what's the old extra curriculum? What do we do after school? Uh, activity hall. Oh, an activity hall. Okay, this is one of the new things. I think. I think this is in the new update. An activity hall and schedule an activity for the school. And I don't have to research anything for this. Oh, and it's it's ten k. When I'm done with it. Oh, yeah, everybody pause. Everybody just slam on the brakes here. Because A, we've got a new thing we can mess around with. We can build an activity hall. B, this doesn't cost me any research. And C, if I read the notes correctly on the update, which I didn't, I totally just skimmed them. So don't accept this as gospel. I think there's activities that can generate money. 
for the school. I think we can generate some money here. And I'm thinking, up by this staff cafeteria here, that might be a good spot for that. You know what? Hit me. Ah, no. I actually do have to research something. It's 8K. I didn't see that. Was that in? I'm sorry. Was I notified about that? I was not notified about that game. It says build activity hall and schedule an activity. It didn't tell me I had to research something. Usually the other ones say that I have to research. Yeah, research swimming pool for that. Yeah, I'm not changing it. Don't worry. You did not notify me that I had to research something. That's a little sneaky and not really very cool because this is going to cost me 8K. At least I can get right to it, I guess. I can immediately zip to it. Well, we're committed now. So activity hall, it is. Activity hall, it is. Would you like to tell me what in advance I might need for that? No, I have to unlock it first. Okay, I won't, I won't build anything until we're actually, I know what I need to build. Well, we've got really nothing kicking around to do until this research is done. I haven't really, uh, I haven't really checked in on people lately. Andreas, tell me about yourself. Wow, you're really good at art. You are super good at art. You've been in the library, you're returning a book, and you're impatient and short. And you're basically chill. Your discipline is quite low. Are you going to be a problem? Are we going to have to send you to Counselor Mel? That might be a thing that happens. Richard, tell me about... Wow, Richard, you're terrible. You're an awful, awful student. Why are you this bad on day six? That is awful, man. That is just terrible. Oh, we are. We're kind of suffering here. This is not going well. Pamela, you're good at some things and completely terrible in others. And you're, you're all, you're all fine. You, you feel good about everything. Why are you all this bad this late in the year? You're kind of an all-rounder. Linda, you kind of do well in a lot of things. That's good. I'm concerned. I'm concerned about how poorly our students are doing this late into the school year. It's day six at this point out of day nine, and I've got a bunch of dummies kicking around here. I'll probably need better teachers. It's probably that simple. I've got kind of low-grade teachers because that's what was available at the time when we started Dave's Awesome Crime School, but... They're not going to cut it forever, especially with my sort of overreaching plan to have these be four new classrooms next year. That means I'm going to need a whole bunch of new teachers. Hmm. Oh, Vice Principal, I didn't mess with your name yet, did I? So continuing to use the ability in Academia School Simulator to rename virtually everything, our Vice Principal now will be Vice Principal Sally Cat. I'm just using this as an opportunity to recognize some really, really good friends of the channel, regular viewers, folks who have been kind of checking in on academia. So, Counselor Mel over here, and of course our Principal Penge Cupboard, and now Vice Principal Sally Cat. I'm also sorry that your office is in the middle of an open field, but you can hang out with Counselor Mel. And, you know, you can kind of just open your doors and chit-chat through there, because neither of you have very much to do. Mel has solved the problem. There was a problem. Mel has solved it. And I, I don't really know what Principal Penge does, apart from being a gangster. But hopefully you guys will have fun over there. I'll try and get you some walls someday. And I'm just going to chip away at the loan a tiny little bit. So chip off that. That's a thousand. That's fine. That's a little bit less that we owe. That would be nice. Place is getting a little dirty, but I see the janitors are kind of on it here. We've got a few that are rooted and then a few that are just kind of free floating around the area. It's not it's not as much of a pigsty as it used to be. I guess is the best I can say about Dave's awesome crime school right now. I've really got to get some floors down in the science lab and the library. I know I keep saying that I just can't afford to do it. Oh, we may wanna wanna research that better toilet paper sooner rather than later, because that ain't cool, guys. Come on. Uh, why am I getting flagged on the field here? I I have a water fountain and benches. Why are you telling me I don't have those? They're right here. Oh, there's a goon, first of all. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, kick out Jordan Evans. Is that the problem? Because there was a goon on the field? That's like all of British football. A goon on the field. I mean, what? why is this? Why are you flagging it for this now? 
all right, I've got benches and water fountain. And it's definitely within the field area. Not really sure why you're flagging that to me. And I'm not putting down more because I'm going to see if when the goon goes, that might solve the problem. I'm not putting down more because I can't afford to. So you better just darn well accept the fact that those objects exist. Now, here's a problem. Here's a problem that I'm seeing. I am negative 2k in the hole. And my income is 3,700. I'm not going to make it to the end of the year because I will be broke. And I'm just assuming, I, I have not put this to test, but I'm just assuming if you're bankrupt, they, they close the school and say game over. That would be a very sensible thing to be doing. Clearly, I can't be trusted to run a hall of education here. But I don't, I'm not sustainable. I mean, I've known that for a while, both in, in this game and in my real world life. But I'm not sustainable. I'm going to run out of money. I got to tell you, Vice Principal Sally Cat is costing me a lot of money that I don't really know that I needed to spend apart from the fact that it was a lot of money up front and I'm always distracted by things like that. Maybe when the activity hall is done, I mean, I'll get some money for getting the activity hall done, but I'm going to have to build it. How am I going to build that? I can't afford to build that. That's ridiculous. Okay, we got the research complete. Throw it in pause mode there, academia. Show me, first of all, just show me the activity room, and then I can see what I'm going to need to do that. So activity hall, loudspeak, loudspeaker, six tables. That's it, loudspeaker and six tables. 20 by 10. Are you insane? 20 by 10. Do you know how much jet black crime wall I'm going to have to put up for 20 by 10? Okay, okay. doesn't actually say it needs benches or chairs. They can just stand. Who? Um, I'm going to be broke. Uh, this this could very well be the last academia right here. I'm totally going to be broke. I'm I'm going to have to give it a shot. So walls, my jet black crime walls. God, these walls are expensive. Twenty by ten, you say? Okay, spiffalicious. Yeah, I can't afford to do this. Just the walls alone. I cannot possibly afford to do this. I'll I'll go ahead and put in the door. I don't I don't know to what effect, but I I will um I will give them a door. Everybody's dropping out. My funds are low. I I know game. I know. It's all gone horribly wrong. It's gone very very wrong cuz I I don't know. I kind of thought the activity hall was going to be what what helped a lot. I just I I didn't know I had to research something for it, which was, I should have looked, obviously, but everything else that says you're going to need to research something says you're going to need to research something. I know, I know, I should have looked in the research to confirm that. I was just so normally used to it saying, ah, and you have to research this thing as part of the little quest. Okay, maybe somehow I can pull this all together. I'm not, I could literally fire everyone just for a couple of days. How about that? And then dismantle everything that costs me money. Just for a couple of days. Can I close the school early? It's day six. Can we just call it a day and say, ah, you know what? They're, they're educated just enough. I have no ability to do this. I can't scare up that money and I can't get another bank loan until I pay off this one. Other things Dave has done wrong. Make sure when you wanted the 25k, you actually clicked on the 25k, because now you're locked into not enough money. Hmm. Can I sell all my flooring? I mean, like, legitimately, can I, can I sell every bit of flooring that I have? If I demolish things, I'm pretty sure, just for giggles... Dismantle that piece of flooring. I just want to see if I get my money back. I just want to see if I get my money back. I know I've only got the two builders. I've fired most of them. Do I get any money back? Yes. I get all my money back. Okay. Dave's Awesome Crime School is going on um a, a bit a bit of a a renovation. Now the only hiccup that I'm having so far is I don't have, or I don't seem to have, 
just demolish the floor bit of this. So when I dragged that out, the first thing this guy did was go over and trash this wall, which I'm now having to have him put back. So there doesn't seem to be a, I just want to rip up the floor icon. So I'm going to have to do this a little more piecemeal than I expected to do. But um, it's going to get, it's going to get a little weird around Dave's awesome crime school that has slightly less floors than one may traditionally remember there being here. I am close to the point of tears, ripping up my Versailles floor, but look at that money coming in. Look at that money coming in. I'm so sorry, Versailles floors. I loved you, and someday we will put you back. I promise, but right now, it's going to have to be a complete pigsty. Everyone's going to hate the fact that there's no floors. I hate the fact that there's no floors. Let me be the first to say that. I hate more than everything the fact that there are no floors. I think I just accidentally got that hand sanitizer, but that's fine. They can take that out, too. There's a little less money I'm actually spending every day. I'm very, very sorry about this, but look at all the money we've got now. And if actually, if I hustle... If I hustle, I might be able to get the activity room up and running. Well, thankfully, the tables are relatively cheap, so I think we can get all of this in here. I only need six, and that's all you're getting. Why did you tell me to build this so darn huge? I guess I can put more stuff in there later and get more things. I don't know. Anyway, um, the money's flying in now flying in now that we're dismantling literally everything. I would love you guys to actually hustle over and do this, but I don't think I've researched that part of you yet, and so God knows I can't afford to. So uh, do do whatever it is you feel you do around here, and build my activity hall when you get a chance, please. Well, a brand new morning here in Dave's Awesome Crime School, and we're in the hole. No surprise there, we are in negative cash right now. Um, they, they need to rip up literally all the floors because that's, that's where my money is at the moment. That's where my money is until they have enough money to go build the things in the activity hall so I can get the cash dump from that. And, oh god, it's just all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Oh, there's some more Versailles floors I can be ripping up. Hang on, I'm so sorry, Versailles floors. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Why is there an ambulance? at my school. Is it about the floors? Okay, you know what? You know what? That's fair. That's totally 100% fair. I see where you're going with that academia school simulator. I, 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 okay, you know what? You're right. It is a health hazard. It was a complete pigsty. I was ripping up all the floors just to pay for the activity center, but we had fun. We we had fun in, in Dave's Awesome Crime School, um, I think. The music department was a big hit. Everybody loved that. And the art department. I loved my little art wing. I loved my Versailles floors until I started ripping them up. I guess that is unexpectedly uh, the end of Academia School Simulator. As usual, it's crashed and burned, as have most games that have ever been on my channel. But I hope you guys had fun watching me crash and burn. I really did have quite a lot of fun crashing and burning. I just didn't think it was going to happen that quickly. I didn't even get to the end of year two. I'm blaming the activity center. I am solely blaming the activity center because I didn't know I had to research that. I, I, I that's That's what I'm going with. On record, I am saying that the fact that I was not informed that I had to research the activity center is the reason for the collapse of Dave's Awesome Crime School. It had nothing to do with the fact that the place was a complete pigsty and gross mismanagement by the principal. No, no, no. It was the activity center. So there is Academia School Simulator. I, I hope you guys had fun watching it. I did have fun playing it. Do please let me know in the comments the many many, many things I could have done better in this. You guys have been so good about that so far. There's no reason not to flood the comment section with, my God, you're a complete moron when it comes to school management. Hey, it's not the first time I've heard that. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you 
next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.